I uh, take pre- I take presuppositional apologetics to be the claim that God is epistemically necessary, um, which is most evidentialists say that God is ontologically necessary, but the the, the, presuppos- the presuppositionalist route take a step further and say that it's, he's epistemically necessary. I just don't think that can be supported, but you know, there are a lot of, lots of Christians reject presuppositional yeah. apologetics. What are the objections to it, Danny? Well, to say that God is epistemically necessary means something like you need to you need to know God before you know anything else, right? So that includes all these weird presuppositions about like logic, um, the uniformity of nature, uh, causal interaction, um, all uh, all these what some people might call basic beliefs um, that they cannot be known unless you first know God, um, and to me, um, it seems like you need to know some of those things in order to know God, right? Like, for instance, um, I think you need to know A is A before, you know, you interpret the Bible or you interpret, um, I think, Revelation, the same way that I think that you need to um, know that your cognitive faculties and your, your senses are reliable before you experience Revelation, whatever medium that may be, you know? Um, but they're saying there's something they're saying something I think rather insane that like in order to understand or to know that your cognitive faculties are reliable that logic is um, something that you can depend on you must first know God but that doesn't make very much sense in 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 terms of how I just explained it and any argument that you give for that claim will presuppose logic anyways. True. True. But, uh, okay, so you presuppose at, at birth, I, I think. You know, it's just intuitive that your cognitive faculties are reliable. Yeah, but so, they're going to say something like, you only can know that if you know God. Well, it's... Um, so look, there, remember, I said two, there are two categories, right? The evidentialists are going to say that God is ontologically necessary for... for uh, for existence or, or sorry well it's not for existence but like for knowledge which means that god sustains all of being such that you're able to to know things right that's a different claim right saying that basically if there's no god well there's no me that's okay but what they're saying is something different that to have knowledge you must know god first right to have intelligibility in the new in universe to make sense of the world you must know god and in a way where, like, in order to have the beliefs that the world is sensible, you must know God. That, to me, is a very different claim. 